All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to install fabric for Minecraft 1.20.2, along with how to go about modding it. Um, it's basically the same way you do it for Forge, but in case you're not familiar with that, I'm going to show you how to do that today. So the first thing you're going to want to do, make sure you've run Minecraft in the latest release in 1.20.2 at least once. All you have to do is make sure it's downloaded and installed and you just have to load into the menu page. And then once you have played the game and you've loaded here into this menu where you can see the background moving and everything, you go to single player, multiplayer, that's all you need to do. And then you can start downloading and installing all of the different components to make fabric run. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna download fabric and then I've also got the fabric API which is a required set of additional API information that a lot of mods for Fabric use to run. And then we're also going to grab Zero's minimap as a mod because it's available for both Forge and Fabric, just as a way to show you how modding this works. So we're gonna hit download for download Fabric and it's gonna take us to this page here. We're gonna download the universal jar which is gonna make our jobs a lot easier for installing fabric. That's kind of the more universal, you can just do generic modding. Otherwise you'd probably grab like a launcher that already has it in it, but we don't wanna do that. So after that, we're gonna download fabrics API. So we're gonna to go to this website. I'll put the links in the video description. We're gonna to go to files and then we're looking for the one for fabric. I guess they're all for fabric. This is only for fabric, it's the fabric API but we want the one for 1.20.2, which is right here. The latest 1.20, they're coming out for 1.20.3. And then we're going to download that. And then over here, Zero's minimap, we're going to go ahead and go to files. And then we're going to grab the latest version for fabric right here at the top. Click the download that bad boy. And then that should be all we need to, to do. Now, I'm gonna open up the folder where I've got all that stuff. It's over here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on the Fabric installer. If you have Java properly installed on your computer, uh, this should automatically open. If it's not working correctly, you might have to right click this and go open with and tell it to run with Java or choose another program and then select Java and tell it to always open this app with jar files with the Java platform and then we'll click OK. And it should automatically tell detect what version you want to install because that's the version installer that you got and just let it install the latest loader version. It should automatically be able to find your Minecraft installation, but if for whatever reason you know it's installed somewhere else, you can click on these three dots to change that. Make sure create profile is selected and then click install. It should automatically run through installing all the correct files for you and then tell you, hey, we did it. And then you can click OK. After that, we can run the Minecraft launcher again. And once you've got the Minecraft launcher open, it should already have a little install for fabric set up right here in the lower left hand corner. And you can see that it's installed here in the different uh, profiles already pre set up for fabric. If you don't see this, make sure the modded is ticked up here underneath of like versions. If you don't have this selected, it won't show you your modded versions of Minecraft that you have installed. Uh, if for whatever reason you don't have that still and modded is clicked, you can create your own installation of it called My Cool Fabric Install. And then you can select under versions, the latest version of Fabric Loader and then just click on create. And it should be able to do that for you. Once you've got a profile for that set up, you can go click on this little folder button. When you hover over it here inside of the launcher, there's a little folder next to play. That will open up the actual Minecraft folder here. So after all of that is done, and you can see you've got a fabric like profile set up here, or down here, the one that I manually installed, hover over one of those, and there's three options. Play a folder icon in three dots. Click on the folder icon. This is going to bring up the Minecraft folder 
where Minecraft is installed in your app data folder. And inside of here, you should see a mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder, I actually had to create this one. Uh, if you don't have a mods folder, you can literally just right click anywhere, go to new folder, and then just type in mods, all lowercase, and then you can just click and drag all of your stuff inside of here from your mods that you downloaded. So let me open that up again. So we only had the API and the fabric and not the fabric installer, but the API and Zero's minimap. So I'll just copy both of those and put those in the mod folder. Now I should be good to go and either launch the game and start playing around. Or if you have more mods, you can start putting them into this folder here. This should work with pretty much all of your fabric mods, unless they have a very explicit setup instructions that involves extra steps. Uh, and this should work for newer versions of Minecraft and fabric, as well as certain older versions. This methodology of modding Minecraft has been pretty much set in stone since the early days of Forge. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been a brief look at how to install Fabric, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.